of the viral video from Japan you may have seen. It involves shooting shrimp out of a cannon, battering them in midair, cooking them while they're still in the air, and getting it all done in a matter of milliseconds. Holy cow, it was a stunt that was so delectable, our very own Jay Ingram decided to see if it could be replicated for real. Seriously. All right, who wants to help me fill up some egg? A group of makers, a group with no bosses, focused on one thing, getting the job done. We are here at Site 3 Fire Arts Secret Warehouse. They are going to shoot a shrimp from a cannon through egg, flour, and fire, and land that cooked shrimp on a plate. Seriously. So, Seth, Brian, what prompted you guys even to try this? Well, I mean, you've seen the video. We took it and we analyzed it frame by frame, and we were like, we don't really think this can work. But throwing caution to the winds, you yeah. guys decided oh, yeah. you'd, you'd do it because maybe it could be done. Um, give me some sense of some of the uh, hurdles that you had to overcome. Shooting shrimp is harder than it looks, actually. <laughs> uh, so first we had to figure out how to build a CO2 cannon and get it to actually shoot the shrimp towards the target. All right, shrimpy, 80 PSI, let's test. Do it. Go for it. Oh. Uh, apparently it's... shrimp aren't really ballistic shaped, so there were some hits and a whole lot more misses. Uh, then we had some issues with the fire. Yeah, we, we, we started at uh, 4 PSI, but things weren't really working. Uh, and then we went to 5 PSI, and then this happened. <laughs> so 4. 4 is better than 5. Six. Six. Mike, I need a quick tour of the setup. Sure. So this is a CO2-powered shrimp cannon. Uh, we load up our test subjects right here. Uh, the next three segments are for our flour, our egg, and our breadcrumbs, and those are all powered by compressed air. And finally, we have a propane-powered flame effect. So this is going to hopefully cook our shrimp. And is this set at six like you wanted? Well, actually, we're at 10. And finally, our lovingly crafted target, which we'll hopefully hit and then land on the plate. Shrimp cannon mid-air cookery. Take one. Everything fires, but the breading is late. Shrimp cannon mid-air cookery. Take two. This time, everything happens in order, but the fire is late. Less than impressive. So, Kate, obviously the timing is crucial here. How did you guys figure it all out? Lots of trial and error. Trial and error. So you really had no idea when you went in what should go first? I mean, we thought that stuff would go in order, but we just had to try it, and lots of shrimp were destroyed in the process. <laughs> no, they gave their lives for the project. So, Carrie, is it just pretty straightforward then? You know, cannon, bang, 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 into the target? You'd think so, but actually it starts with a flame effect. That goes off first. A tenth of a second later, the cannon goes off. Oh, neat. And uh, 60 milliseconds after that, the other three fire. So this is a piece of high technology. Yes, it is. That's what I thought. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what are you doing? Um, I'm putting the fire proximity suit on. Yeah, and why would you want to do that? <laughs> because we've been hitting the target all day but with the shrimp, but we have yet to have the shrimp actually land on the plate. So I'm going to get in there and make it happen. Even with Sarah playing shrimp catcher, the plate remains empty. That was awesome. <laughs> Just to review, Kyle Mahelman, please. So, Site 3 Fire Arts has proven it's possible to replicate a little piece of movie special effects in real time. Coating a shrimp with flour, egg batter, breading it, but cooking? 
Well, cooking the shrimp involves a lot more fire. Look, Sarah, a nearly cooked shrimp on a plate. Beautiful. Seriously. 